What's up guys? So just me here today. I wanted to get on and do a little vlog this week to talk about what we shoot with. We've actually had a bunch of people reach out on Instagram and TikTok and particularly YouTube to ask us, you know, about what we shoot with and why is our footage so clean and clear and smooth. And I wanted to jump on and do a little video of show you all the stuff that we use on our trips to travel. And honestly, it's pretty simple. It's not too crazy. I honestly just want to also just show this to encourage you guys to show how easy it is to, you know, document your family and friends and all your adventures too. Pretty much what you see here is what we use for our adventures. It's truly not a bunch. The only thing missing is we typically rent a camera and we also have what I'm shooting on currently, which is the Sony ZV-1 for our vlog stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna jump into it and just kind of go through all of these items and the benefits and why we choose to use them. So first up is gonna be the iPhone. Megan and I have been using the iPhone to shoot mostly everything since we started all of this, like back in 2017. So it's just easy, it's convenient. So everyone wants to use something that's convenient and this is what we use. And to be honest, we really learned a bunch when we started looking up YouTube videos and how to get better and cleaner footage using your iPhone. And I think that there's something that a lot of people don't know about is that you can go to your settings on your iPhone and change the video quality of your phone. If you actually hop into settings, you can go down to your camera and once you click on camera where it says record video, you can click that and I think the standard is 1080p 30 frames per second. Well, you're going to want to do 4K 60 frames per second. If you want more like film style, you can do 4K 24 frames per second. We always shoot on 4K 60 frames per second just because we like it to be super smooth and high resolution because if we're walking a bunch, we want it to be a little smoother. And honestly, most of the comments that we get from people that are like hyped on the way that it looks, it's all because we've got it on 4K 60 frames per second and we're filming on our iPhone. So one of the biggest things also now recently is that the new iPhones, I believe it's the iPhone 14 and the 15s and probably all the future ones, they have the cinematic option on there. So you can get, you know, a little more blurred background, uh, which is really cool and gives you more of like a actual filmmaker, you know, high resolution camera type feel. So yeah, the, the iPhones are the big thing. Just something to note with that. If you do use your iPhone a bunch, the only thing is that you're going to want to purchase an iPhone that has a bunch of storage space. So whenever Megan and I first started, we were getting the lowest amount of storage that we could because obviously it's way cheaper. And that was hurting us because we would have to go and delete a bunch of apps or our footage and stuff just to be able to have enough space. So we now buy the most storage that you can get on your phone or some of the highest that you can. So so maybe 500 gigabytes of storage on your iPhone. And then we also do two terabytes of iCloud storage. So that way we never run out of space and it's been so helpful. All right, so the next thing that we use the most is our Sony ZV-1 camera, which I'm currently filming on right now. Honestly, it's been such a game changer for us. For one, just because when we first started doing our vlogging stuff and we first started filming stuff for Instagram and TikTok, whenever you want to get like really good crisp sound with your voice, it was always nasty. And so whenever we would go on and try to like edit the video or whatever, the sounds are always crazy. There's wind and like messing everything up. So we were like, we've got to invest in something that's going to be a little better for when we talk. It's clearer and everyone can hear us better. And I'm not having to spend so much time editing out the sounds whenever we're putting together videos. So we use the Sony ZV-1, which we have loved so much, particularly because it comes with a hand, a Bluetooth hand grip, 
and you can control everything from the hand grip so you can move the camera around, press record, stop recording, zoom in, zoom out just from the hand grip alone. It also has a flip camera so that way we can look at ourselves as we're talking. And also the biggest thing is the wind muff. So there is actually a, a muff that goes over the microphone so that way if there's any wind or crazy noises it actually muffs it out so that way everything is a little more crisp and clear so and also shoots in 4k which we also love so everything is clean looks good we love it and honestly we saw that a bunch of other vloggers were using it so that's kind of why we chose to go that way there's my little baby next up the third thing that we probably use the most and honestly, this kind of is a tear down because those two first things are the things that we use more than anything, is the drone. And we currently upgraded recently to the drone DJI Mini Pro 4. The reason that we chose the 4 is because it has the option to shoot vertical. As you guys know, a lot of TikToks and Instagram videos want vertical video, so this way we don't have to fully crop in the, the footage that we get on the drone to try to shoot. We can actually just turn the camera that way and shoot in vertical on the drone, which is really cool. I also really like this new one because it is super, super light. Like truly I can put it in my book bag if it's you know secure and, and it fits in there really well. It's super light. It still withstands all the crazy winds when you're flying around. So we've actually really enjoyed this one. The next thing we shoot with so every time Megan and I go on a trip, we always rent a camera. Now I know this is probably not very cost efficient, but for us it makes sense because we're not using the camera all the time and, and honestly we've really just kind of wanted to try out a bunch of cameras to see which one we like the most. So there's actually a place in Atlanta called Aperture Rent and you can go rent literally any type of camera, any type of lens. And so over the last three or four years, we've rented all types of cameras and lenses. And ultimately, we've actually found the one that we love the most is the Canon EOS R6 Mark II. So we like this one because it's a mirrorless camera. The footage is super crisp. It's really nice. We always shoot in RAW, so that way we can play with the, the footage way more and you can also get really really great video with it if we decide to shoot video so megan is the one that typically is editing all the photos and so she really prefers this one and that's the one that we've been going with for now almost a year we're going to ultimately invest and just buy it but renting it is way cheaper and we really liked it the lens that we use for it is the 24 to 105 millimeter and that just kind of gives you the ability to shoot really close or really far away, kind of a more diverse lens. Um, if we're going to like Yellowstone, we will typically order another lens, which is like a 200 millimeter lens so that we can shoot far away and get some animals and stuff. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you the, the drone just so you can see for scale how small it is. So super tiny. And what's cool about the new drones, they also come with this where it already has the screen there that you can use everything for so yeah we really like it it's been really really nice next up is our GoPros so we don't use the GoPro as much we typically only use it if we're like you know going on a crazy hike and I can't really use my hands as much like in the video that we did Bar Harbor where we were climbing up you know scaling this mountain that's super risky and sketchy I use this and I'll typically tie it onto my head or something. This actually is a head strap, so it goes on your head, so that way I can have my hands free and it still gets everything that I'm seeing. It gets Megan and gets the views and everything. So I really like the head strap a lot. And also I've used the head strap just as a way to like kind of secure it when I'm filming. So I'll go through and just hold it like this. So if we're on a roller coaster or something, I can wrap it around my wrist and it won't fall off. So we actually use the GoPro Hero seven but recently for megan's birthday we rented the hero 11 so we haven't upgraded in a while and it was really nice it, it's so smooth it's got way better picture quality and everything so we're a bit behind on upgrading we're going to upgrade soon but this gopro hero 7 does the trick it shoots in really high quality and does everything that we want for what we get into we've also use this for when we've gone horseback riding, done any kind of adventurous stuff. If we're getting in the water, 
for doing, you know, canoeing or, or kayaking, I'm going to use this because I don't want to risk messing up anything else. The cameras can't withstand the water, but this definitely can. Next up are our tripods. Those are the things that we use the most. We have to have our tripods. So whenever Megan and I first started traveling, we would always have to ask some random stranger to take our photo. And as you guys know, whenever you're asking strangers to take pictures, it's either one going to be of the ground or it's not going to get anything behind you. It's going to be blurry. And then when you ask to see the photo and it's, and it's not what you were looking for, it's so awkward to ask them to take another one. So now we take our own tripod and we love it so much. So this is one that we've gotten recently off of Amazon. It's called the King Joy but it comes with like a little hand grip and it gets really tall. So I believe this one gets up to seven feet tall. So really gets up there and it's so versatile, it's lightweight. And the reason that we like it the most is because it is lightweight, but also heavy and sturdy enough to hold the Canon camera that we rent. So when I'm putting the Mark II on this, I can feel confident that it's not gonna fall over. So, you know, we're going on a hike through, you know, the mountains in Washington State in the North Cascades. Well, I've got this in my boat bag, I've got the Canon camera in my boat bag, and it's a lot of weight. But ultimately, when we get to the top, I know that I'm gonna have a secure tripod and a great camera to get a really sick shot that we want. Highly recommend this tripod because we love it so much. Next up, is the gorilla pod so this is a really cool tripod that we use whenever we're hiking or in a situation where we can't pull out this big one and you can actually wrap this say that there's a fence nearby and you want to get a picture of you and your significant other of a view you can actually hook this around you know like a fence post and secure it or you could do it on like a tree limb anything like that. So the Gorilla Pod is sick and we love it so much because it's super convenient and allows us to get some photos in some crazy situations. Next up is our Lassie hard drive. So this hard drive has been really great for us. So I typically get like a two terabyte hard drive and I highly recommend it because ultimately if you're going to be shooting all this footage and you're going to be shooting it all in 4K, you're going to want a safe and secure storage space for your stuff. So, you know, I've got iCloud for my phones, but for the GoPro and for the Canon cameras and for my vlog, every time we're on a trip and we're shooting, typically the night before we go to bed, I just hop on the computer, offload everything into this hard drive, um, and so that way I can feel secure that everything's going to be good. Camera got a little overheated, so I had to stop talking, but that is one thing I will say about the Sony ZV-1 is that if you film for way too long, it will get overheated and you have to give it a little break. But outside of that, we love it. It's really cool. All right, so next up is our lighting. So we actually bought this on Amazon. I don't even know, like, I don't even know what it's called. But basically, you can attach it to your phone. You can attach it to your camera. We've loved it. It's so nice. So yeah, if you're filming on your phone, you can get some shots like this, which is cool. But um, yeah, highly recommend that. And then we also have another more high quality light that we're currently using on the vlog right now. And it is way brighter. I actually have it on the lowest setting right now. It's actually nighttime outside, it's getting nighttime. So it works amazing. The quality is really nice. And Megan actually filmed that one. Megan will link all of this stuff on our Amazon shop and we'll link it in the description. So if you guys are interested in you know any of the stuff, you can look it up and see if it makes sense for you. But yeah, wanted to mention one other thing. Uh, we actually used to use this thing called the DJI Osmo Mobile. It's another type of tripod and you can wave your hand and it will follow you and rotate around as you're walking, which is really cool. My brother-in-law bought us a new version, which is this, for Megan's birthday. And we're so excited to try it. But yeah, you just wave your hand and it will focus on your face and, and the whole tripod will turn as you're walking, which is so cool. It's like you have someone there filming for you. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple, not too crazy, nothing too crazy expensive. 
I will link all of this stuff in the description so you can see the price of everything. We'll also put in the description what I've talked about here so if you want to revisit some of these items. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was informative. If you have any questions just leave the comments below and we'll answer them for you. So next up I'm going to do another vlog and kind of break down how we plan our trips because we've had a lot of questions about that too. So we wanted to revisit some of these things and answer some of the questions that we've been getting over the last few years. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram and TikTok. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is where I will be, nah, nah, nah. Never ever gonna leave. Yeah.